It is about time you rise up. There is an open letter that has been written. And this open letter, it has been written to uh, the likes of uh, an open letter written to Lindy Wasisulu, uh, Limpohani, uh, that is the wife of Krizan, so uh, that is the Krizan, the late Krizan's wife, and Kosazana Zuma Zamini and Magazi Zwe Mandela. Okay, Umagazi Zwe Mandela. Now, the open letter says, Hey, you ever for it? Nah, this is a better lana. Hey, uh, what's a jan? And Suman Pella, hey, rise up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll go through the letter. Eh? I'm just thinking, good, this letter coincidentally is written at the time where the country is being sold. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what I'm up they are busy making deals with Abu Helen Zile. Abu Helen Zile, they are showing their sense of arrogancy, telling us, you know what I'm saying, that I'm in charge here. That is what that is the attitude that we are seeing from ETA, right? So it comes at a time where Abu Ramapos are making deal uh, to, to 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 sell ANC, um, because they have done that anyway, right? Because they are trying to protect themselves, they were able to send others to prison. You know, I told people when people saying Ramaphosa is gonna end crime, I'm like, oh, I'm like, hey, when, hey, when, hey, when, you have no idea who Ramaphosa is, hey. <laughs> That man is no. That man is look is not coming. Is not ending crime. Nothing. That man is there for himself. And I'm telling you that Ramaphosa is there for himself. Ramaphosa has just proven that uh, he makes a deal and he tells the 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 look the, 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 the DA that you guys are not gonna vote against me in in the motion of no confidence or in the issues of Palapala. Uh, you know what I'm saying. So this letter comes at a time when the politics in has just taken a different turn because of obviously because of Ramaphosa. So we'll go through the letter and dissect the letter with you, provided that you're interested. If you are, well, I am actually interested, right? That's why you can even hear my energy. I am very much interested. But also the interest is also ignited by the fact that I am I also know for a fact that you and I we are partners. How do I know that you and I are partners? It's because of this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge to watch this video until the end it is free of charge also good people i mean come on to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this youtube channel speaking about financial contribution to the channel you can join become a member of this youtube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month you can also uh, use the super thanks party in case you don't want to do that guys there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel and you know what i'm saying we'll bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed well again well quite obvious i'm reading from iol well Ah, uh, <laughs> don't tell me that boy born. Man, when I you always reading from me, I O L. Well, they seems to be the ones writing things these days. At least they may criticize people that I may favor or like, but they are not that cruel. You know what I'm saying? They criticize and they move on. I am like the others. I I will I do read from them as well. Um, by Mapano Mapano Pasha, open letter to the following uh, local women leaders: Lindy Wasisulu, Limpoha Ninkosazana Zuma Zamini, and uh, Magazi Zwe Mandela. Dear mothers of mothers of nation, mothers of the nation, right? I'm writing to you as a political daughter because you are um, ex uh, an extricably uh, linked to the liberation struggle of this country, and I believe this. This look, I believe it is politically blasphemous that you are keeping quiet when our country is being headed back to white oppressors. Upamanga, I told you that this letter comes at a time where. Ramaphosa is selling this country. Oppressors are now given power. She wrote and said, listen, why are you keeping quiet when Sarah Ramaphosa is giving our country uh, that you sacrifice your lives for bear to the oppressors? 
You are keeping quiet whilst the country is going straight to the political cliff and you have allowed you have uh, allowed very inexperienced politicians and political careerists to gamble and look and para and, uh, and preside over political future as a woman of a star, as, as a woman of a stunner staff uh, as a, as Shakespeare will call you at what point do you decide to rise and stand up and put your neck on the block as you have done in the past during the trying times of apartheid? She's not done. She's not done. She's coming. She's like, oh, Ibo, what happened to the revolutionary revolutionaries and leaders in you? Are you keeping quiet because you have been brought like the other within the ANC and its and its alliance, or you are keeping quiet because you are also suffering from political blackmail uh, that others are suffering from? You can't be silent when when apartheid capital and its political instrument, the DA, and its internal enemy agent within the ANC have launched an aggressive assault on the ANC and of the aspiration of African people. She's not done. Let's continue with the letter. Our entire heritage of national liberation is on the verge of being squandered by this satanic anti-African GNU scam, the government of corruption I add. The government of national corruption I add. The ANC is ruthlessly, ruthless, ruthless. African people are crying for your divine African feminine, uh, feminine power to lead and defend when this neo-apartheid order that is disguised as GNU, the government of national confusion. She's not done, guys. But I dare not uh, look. You dare not fail. Uh, look, you dare not fail in the future of your children and the future of generation. Uh, look, uh, uh, in the future of generations, in this important epoch, epoch uh, where our freedom, our freedom, liberty, and social justice are at stake. To the best of my political recollection. You have suffered, uh, look, you have suffered way beyond what I have just characterized here above. And you are fearless and courageous woman. <laughs> Some of you have been in prison. Some of you have lost loved ones. And all of you sacrificed your entire childhood in the struggle for the liberation of our country. Only for a racist like Helen Zille to bully the men in the ANC into submission. They attempt, they attempt, they are uh, look, emma, emasculated. They are behaving like obedient liberators. Clearly, there is no chance that they will they will fight against the, uh, they will fight against the uneducated and vile white racists from the Democratic Alliance led by Helen Zille and her masters. In the three hundred years of colonial history that I have studied, all people of Europe, all people of Europe descent, have never facilitated the, the liberation of Black Africans. Why do you think they will liberate us today in the in the form of government of national unit? Our fathers have failed us and continue to fail us, are selling us literally to their white masters. We look, we now ask you to rise up. Oh, my daughter. Every, every young girl and woman like look like me looks up to you, especially many of us who are guided by your political footsteps and revolutionary morality. Yet you are keeping quiet when arrogant um, <laughs> Chelvin is at its peak. Pick up your spear. Let uh, look, uh, pick up your spear. Lead us from your daughter. Do you want me to, 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 to say anything? 
I really, guys, it's very difficult. Uh, it's very, very, very difficult to say anything uh, she has spoken. So what shall I then say when the daughter, the, the daughter of the soil have spoken? I really have few words. Um, I mean, sort of no words except to pass what she said unto you. See what you do, what she said.